Coming up on the High School Quiz Show, it's Shrewsbury High School. Taking on the Buckingham Brown and Nickel. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science, Massachusetts Teachers Association, Xfinity, UMass Amherst to Eastern Bank and Subaru of New England. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. In last week's match, Acton Boxborough Regional High School defeated Phillips Academy to move on to the quarterfinals. Today, we welcome Buckingham Brown and Nichols from Cambridge. And Shrewsbury High School. And on the VBNN team, we have Bradford, Henry, Daniel and Asher with mascot Bucky and alternate Aaron and coaches Chip Rawlinson and Sam Criffield. How about it, everybody? <laughs> and competing for Shrewsbury, we have Arjun, Nicole, Rohan, and Lulu with alternates Yara and Hardika and coach Melinda Moynihan. The competition has four rounds. Toss-up, head-to-head, category, and lightning, and we start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. There are no point deductions for wrong answers, and players may confer. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. The existence of black holes was predicted by what scientist's theory of general relativity? Yes, Nicole. Einstein? Yes, in July 2022, when he was the Senate Majority Leader, what New York Democrat reached a deal with Senator Joe Manchin on climate, health care, and taxes? Yes, Henry. Schumer. Chuck Schumer, yes. In 2008, what South American country with the capital city of Quito became the first nation in the world to grant constitutional rights to nature? Yes, Bradford. Ecuador. Ecuador is right. What former Disney star beat out to Harry Styles and other high-profile rivals to play the title role in Baz Luhrmann's film, Elvis? Yes, Nicole. Um, Austin Butler. Austin Butler is correct. Now take a look at your screens. In testimony before the January 6th committee, what former White House aide seen here said Donald Trump knew about the threat of violence before the attack on the U.S. Capitol and did not try to stop it? Cassidy Hutchinson is the answer. Which planet is the second brightest object in the night sky after the moon? Yes, Henry. Venus. Venus is correct. And Shakespeare's Hamlet. What pompous, conniving man is the father of Laertes and Ophelia? Yes, Henry. Polonius. Correct. The 2022 FIFA World Cup kicked off in November rather than July because July temperatures soar to an average daily high of over 106 degrees Fahrenheit in what Middle Eastern host country? Yes, Nicole. Qatar. Qatar is right. On May 1st, 1961, what Cuban president banned elections and declared Cuba a socialist nation? Yes, Bradford. Castro. Fidel Castro. And take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Dr. Amber Strawn. I'm an astrophysicist at NASA, and here's my question. Which of Jupiter's moons is the largest moon in the solar system and the only moon known to have a substantial magnetic field? Is it Europa, Callisto, or Ganymede? Yes, Henry. Ganymede. Ganymede is correct. In 2022, Sandra Oh and Jody Comer were both nominated for Emmys for what spy thriller series based on the Villanelle novels by Luke Jennings? Yes, Henry. Money Heist? No, you want to try Shrewsbury. 
Killing Eve is the answer there, and we move on. What country is home to the Great Sandy Desert and the Great Victoria Desert? Yes, Arjun. Australia. Correct. Created by a British couple to pass the time. During World War II air raid blackouts, what classic board game was inspired by works like Agatha Christie's The Body in the Library? Yes, Bradford. Clue. Clue is correct. The fictional Roy family on HBO's Succession was inspired by several prominent families, including what real-life family that owns Fox News and The Wall Street Journal? Asher. Uh, Murdoch. Murdoch is correct. In March 2022, U.S. consumer prices rose by 8.5% over the past 12 months. Which of the following categories had the largest increase? Fuel, oil, and gasoline, medical care, or meat and produce? Yes, Bradford. Fuel, oil, and gasoline. That is correct. What queen of country music teamed up with James Patterson to write Run, Rose, Run, a thriller about a country singer in Nashville? Yes, Henry. Parton. Dolly Parton. Mount Rainier has the largest number of glaciers on a single peak anywhere in the lower 48. It's located in what U.S. state? Asher. Uh, Washington. Correct. What author of the 1959 play, A Raisin in the Sun, was a strong supporter of the American Communist Party? Yes, Bradford. Hansbury. Lorraine Hansbury, yes. In July 2022, what Asian country, formerly known as Ceylon, was declared bankrupt by its Prime Minister, Dinesh Gunawardena? Yes, Rohan. Sri Lanka? Correct. Chemical digestion uses water and digestive enzymes to break down complex molecules. This process is known as which of the following? Osmosis, hydrolysis, or dehydration synthesis? Yes, Henry. Hydrolysis. Yes, that is correct. In 1824, Andrew Jackson won the popular vote by more than 10%, but did not win the majority in a crowded field of candidates in what some called a corrupt bargain, who became president instead? Yes, Nicole. Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams, yes. What is the stage name of Peter Jean Hernandez, a Grammy-winning R&B singer best known for Uptown Funk? Yes, Nicole. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars is correct. Born in Connecticut in 1758, what founding father is best known today as the author of an American dictionary of the English language? Yes, Henry. Uh, Franklin? No, you want to try Shrewsbury. Yes, Rohan. Roger Sherman? No, Noah Webster is the answer. In Homer's Iliad, what king of Messini and leader of the Greek army in the Trojan War is presented as a great warrior but selfish ruler? Yes, Bradford. Agamemnon? Yes. We have met the enemy and they are ours. What U.S. naval commander famously said this after defeating the British at the Battle of Lake Erie during the War of 1812? Was it Oliver Hazard Perry, John Paul Jones, or George Armistead? Yes, Bradford. Uh, Perry. Yes, Oliver Hazard Perry. In 2019, what former Massachusetts governor challenged Donald Trump for the Republican nomination for president? Yes, Rohan. A Bill Weld? Bill Weld is correct. The Impossible Dream is a song from what 1965 Broadway musical based on the Spanish novel Don Quixote? Yes, Bradford. Man of La Mancha? Yes. What ancient Egyptian god of the dead is represented by a jackal or the figure of a man with the head of a jackal? Yes, Arjun. Anubis? Yes. Leo Tolstoy's epic novel War and Peace was written during the middle part of what century? Yes, Bradford. 19th century. Correct. In 1913, what Danish scientist proposed an atomic model in which electrons move in orbits around the nucleus, much like planets orbit the sun? Yes, Arjun. Boyle. Bohr. No, you want to try BBNN? Yes, Bradford. Bohr. Yes, Niels Bohr is the answer there. And that's the end of the toss-up round. The score right now, Buckingham, Brown and Nichols, 180 points. Shrewsbury, 90 points. Let's hear it for both teams, everybody. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next, but first, we'll take a few minutes to get to know the players. I've got a question. Each of you will have a chance to answer. We'll start over here with BBNN and you, Bradford. And here we go. In your opinion, is it possible for a journalist to be unbiased and why? I think most likely it is, but it's definitely something, you know, journalists have to keep in mind when they're writing. Totally. How about you, Henry? 
I think it's very doubtful because everybody has predisposed opinions, even journalists. Yeah, this is a tough one. How about you, Daniel? I would say signs point to yes. I think it's definitely a struggle too, but it's definitely possible. All right, and Asher? Uh, my sources say no, Billy. I think it's uh, not possible for anyone to be completely unbiased. Did you do a deep dive or something? Your, your sources are on that? Yes. Okay. Let's go to Shrewsbury. Arjun, how about you? I think yes, but it's rare. Okay. And Nicole? I think no, because I feel like everybody puts their like va values and beliefs into everything they do, even subconsciously. Mm-hmm. Rohan? Well, I feel like everyone has slight biases, so no, because like, for example, I'm biased towards GBH. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for that, uh, really. And uh, Lulu, you? I mean, is anything truly unbiased? I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. OK, it's time to go head to head, which means everybody now comes forward, and uh, we all go head to head. Let's do it now. In this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total, and there is a 10-point deduction for incorrect answers. If a player does not answer, there is no impact on the score. So the clock is set at 90 seconds. You want to shake hands and get started here? And uh, here we go. In preparation for the 2024 Olympics, what Paris landmark? Yes. Arc de Triomphe. No, the Eiffel Tower. All organic molecules contain hydrogen and what other element? Yes. Carbon. Yes. Which continent is home to 91% of the Earth's glaciers? Antarctica. Yes. yes. In 1978, cartoonist Jim Davis introduced what cranky orange cat that became? Yes. Garfield. Garfield is correct. Ambushes and sabotage are examples of what type of unconventional warfare? Yes. Guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla, yes. What native of Sudbury, Massachusetts has starred in multiple films as Captain America? Evans. Yes, Chris Evans. What mountains are the setting for the classic children's novel Heidi? Yes. The Alps. Alps, correct. Games like Pokemon Go use a technology called AR, which stands for what? Yes. Augmented reality. Yes. In 1925, what U.S. state passed the Butler Act, which effectively prohibited the teaching of evolution? Yes. Tennessee. Yes, literally meaning tray planting. What term refers to the Japanese art of growing dwarf trees? Yes. Bonsai. Yes. Ah, uh, the Tiber River flows through the central part of what European country? Yes. Italy. Italy is correct. Kidnapped and sold into slavery, Solomon Northup wrote what memoir that became an Oscar-winning film? Yes. Twelve Years a Slave. Correct. After retiring as a player for the Boston Celtics, Larry Bird signed on as head coach of what NBA team in Indiana? Yes. Pacers. Pacers, right. What city once known as the Pearl of the East is the capital of... Oh, that's the end of the round. Let's take a look at the score right now. BBNN, 250 points. Shrewsbury High School, 130 points. How about it for both teams, everybody? Let's make some noise here. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Year of the Tiger, The Perfect Storm, Tennis Anyone, Connect Four, Let There Be Latkes, and Oscar Buzz. All categories have five questions with increasing point value. Teams will each choose two categories and will have the option to toss one question per category to the other team. And players are able to confer. Buckingham, Brown, and Nichols, who will the spokesperson be? I Bradford, will. how about Shrewsbury High School? Spokesperson, Arjun. Okay, Shrewsbury, you have a little ground to make up, but you get to choose the first category. What's it gonna be? We would like to choose Let There Be Latkes. Let There Be Latkes. Questions about holidays around the world, and for 10 points, latkes fried in oil are traditionally served during what Jewish holidays celebrating the miracle of a small amount of oil lasting eight days. Hanukkah. Hanukkah is correct. For 15 points, decorations such as skulls, skeletons, and marigold flowers are associated with what Mexican holiday in November that honors families' ancestors? Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead is correct. Now for 20 points. Every autumn, most Indians, regardless of faith, celebrate what national holiday known as the Festival of Lights? Diwali. And that is correct. Now for 25 points. What festival of breaking the fast marks the end of Ramadan, the Muslim holy month of fasting? Eid. And that is correct. Now for 30 points. Many of the traditions we now associate with Christmas, such as decorating homes with wreaths and other greenery, 
originate from what ancient Roman pagan festival held in mid-December? Saturnalia. And that is correct. BBNN, you'll need a category. What's it going to be, team? Chinese years. I'd say Connect Four. Uh, we'll go with Connect Four. Connect Four. All answers are four words and for 10 points. In 1963, Gregory Peck won an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role as Atticus Finch in what film? To Kill a Mockingbird? Yeah. yeah. To Kill a Mockingbird? That is correct. For 15 points, what phrase was officially adopted in 1945 as the New Hampshire state motto? Live free or die. Yeah. Live free or die? Correct. Now, for 20 points, what 1991 Disney film set in France was the first animated movie ever nominated for a Best Picture Oscar? Uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. No. Beauty and the Beast. And now for 25 points, what Game of Thrones prequel debuted in 2022 with a whopping 10 million viewers setting a new record for HBO? House of the, House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon. And that is correct. Now for 30 points, what best-selling... 2011 novel by Madeline Miller is a retelling of Homer's Iliad from the perspective of Patroclus, an awkward young prince. The Song of Achilles. Uh, the Song of Achilles. And that is correct. And now we go back to Shrewsbury High School. You will need a category. What's it going to be? Perfect storm. I do know about what I do know. Okay. We would like to choose the perfect storm. The perfect storm. These will be questions about weather and climate for 10 points. What Spanish term is used to describe a periodic warming of the tropical Pacific Ocean that can greatly affect weather worldwide? El Nino. El Nino. Yes, now for 15 points. Found mainly in the lower level of the stratosphere, what gas protects life on Earth by absorbing harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun? Ozone. Correct, for 20 points. In 1643, the Italian physicist Evangelista Torricelli invented what instrument that measures atmospheric pressure? Barometer. Barometer. And that is correct for 25 points. If a tropical cyclone occurs east of the international dateline, it's called the hurricane. If it occurs west of the dateline, it's called the what? Typhoon. Typhoon. Typhoon is right. For 30 points now, nearly all weather occurs in which layer of the atmosphere, the layer that is closest to Earth? We'll need an no, answer. No, 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 not, not lithosphere, not that. Stratosphere. No, troposphere is the answer there. And we go back now to BBNN. You will need a category. Team, what's it going to be? I mean, I don't know tennis. Uh, tennis, anyone? Tennis, anyone. Questions about, what do you know? Tennis. For 10 points, the Australian Open is a Grand Slam tennis event that takes place in what city? The second largest city in Australia by population after Sydney. Melbourne. Yes, Melbourne. Melbourne. Correct. For 15 points after winning the 2022 French Open, who extended his Grand Slam titles record to 22? Nadal. Yes. Uh, Nadal. Rafael Nadal. And for 20 points in 2021, who pulled out of the French Open after clashing with tennis officials over her refusal to attend post-match press conferences citing mental health reasons? Osaka. 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 Yes, Naomi, Osaka. Osaka. Naomi Osaka for 25 points, the first U.S. woman to have a major sporting venue named after her, the National Tennis Center in New York, what tennis legend popularized the phrase, pressure is a privilege? Billie Jean King. Yes. Uh, King. Billie Jean King, yes. Now for 30 points in 2021, what 18-year-old U.S. Open champion became the first British woman to win a Grand Slam title since Virginia Wade won Wimbledon in 1977? Toss it. Toss it, yeah. Toss it. Toss it. Toss it. Toss it. We'll toss this question, Billy. Shrewsbury, do you have an answer? What do we say? No answer. No answer. Emma Raducanu is the answer there. And that's the end of the category round. The score right now, BBNN, a total score of 380 points. Shrewsbury High School, 240 points. So let's hear it, everybody. Okay, we are heading into the final round of play, the lightning round. Correct answers add 20 points to the team total, and there is a 20-point deduction for incorrect answers. And remember, teams, there is no conferring in this round. If you guys are set, so am I. Good luck. And here we go. The title Empress of India was first bestowed upon what British monarch? Yes, Arjun. Indira Gandhi? No, Queen Victoria. 
Based on a book series by Mark Brown, what animated series about an aardvark ended its 25 season run? Yes, Lulu. Arthur. Arthur is correct. Atomic number 78 refers to what metal that is more expensive than gold and remarkably, yes, Bradford. Platinum. Platinum is right. There aren't any grown-ups. We shall have to look after ourselves. Ralph says this in what? Yes, Arjun. Lord of the Flies. Correct. After Stu Sutcliffe quit the Beatles in 19... Yes, Bradford. Paul McCartney. Yes. What western U.S. capital city lies at the base of the Wasatch Range? Yes, Bradford. Salt Lake City. Yes. John McDonald and Alexander Mackenzie were the first two prime ministers of what country? Yes, Bradford. Canada. Yes, what Renaissance artist spent four years painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Bradford. Michelangelo. Yes. Tennyson's poem, The Charge of the Light Brigade, is about a failed British cavalry attack during which war? Yes, Bradford. Crimean War. Yes. Our sun is classified as what color dwarf star? Yes, Bradford. Red. No, yellow. Author R.L. Stein has sold over 350 million copies of Yes, Bradford. Goosebumps. Yes, in 1990, Mary Robinson became the first female president of what country? Ireland. What visionary scientist is the captain of the Nautilus in Jules Verne's novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Nemo is the answer there. And the winning team this week is Buckingham, Brown, and Nichols with a total score of 500 points. Shrewsbury High School finishes with 260 points. Really, let's make some noise for both teams, everybody. So Buckingham, Brown, and Nichols will move on to play Acton Boxborough in the quarterfinals. So join us next week for the first quarterfinals match between Andover and Mansfield. Until then, don't forget, you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. We'll see you all back here next week for High School Quiz Show.